really we, we'd love uh, for the public to know that Carifta is rolling along very well. Uh, by the way, as people have been told, the tickets are moving very, very fast. Um, so do not play the Bahamian game and turn up like we do for Junkanoo on Boxing Day morning, seeing if you can get a ticket. The answer will be, unfortunately, no. Um, get out there, get your tickets, and get involved. Today, however, we are very proud to announce um, the culmination of one of our great Bahamian talents in coming together to produce a song for Carifta, and I guess this will become the theme song. Um, and Mr. Fred Ferguson, who is here with us today, along with Mr. Basil Christie, chairman of the LOC, and Mike Sands, the president of the uh, B3As, Colin, um, one of our great artists and, and writers, and the great Moon McPhee, um, our representative from Grand Bahama. Um, I'm really going to turn it over to uh, Fred and then to Colin, as they are the real people there who know about song, um, and they will just brief us as to what this song means, uh, the genesis of the song, and I would assume we're going to have a little sample live on air for you guys for the news tonight. Thank you very much. Fred, come to bed so you good. So you, don't, so you all don't have to keep moving your camera. I feel like the minister. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Minister. Um, very briefly, um, I've been commissioned to produce a song for the Carifta Games, um, a theme song that will represent all of the Caribbean countries as much as possible. With that in mind, I couldn't think of any other person who could co-produce this with me more than Mr. Colin McDonald. So um, I leaned on his generosity and, um, and I asked him to join me in creating this song. Uh, the song is called Caribbean Unity. What we attempted to do is to get a few of the different Caribbean rhythms. So in this song, you will hear Rake and Scrape for sure. You will hear some Zouk. You will hear some Soka. You will hear a little bit of dance hall because that is the theme of Carifta which is to celebrate Caribbean unity. And um, so uh, we came with a song. We also got um, a few performers, local performers, to perform on it. Rick Carey from the Bahaman fame. Um, Christian Massive, you will hear. Sonobia Pear doing backgrounds, Colin McDonald. And um, also what's going to happen with the song at the end of the of the opening ceremonies, all of the artists that are performing, we'll bring them onto stage together, and they will all perform this song as, you know, with the, with the energy that it is. And we anticipate that the Bahamian public will really um, rally behind this song. There will be CDs available for sale, so we, just as you get your tickets, we can encourage you to get a copy of this song because this song is going to be around for a very long time. Ms. McDonald, Colin McDonald. Be the minister. Well, uh, basically, Fred Ferguson said it all. I don't have to say anything. No, it was it was a pleasure uh, for me to to work on the song. Uh, I was I was um, glad that he asked me. Uh, f uh, at first, you know, thinking about Carifta, I thought um, in our first phone conversation that we want a song about competition. But later when we got together and he said, no, we want to talk about Caribbean unity, I said, oh, this is easy because that, that is one of the things that I, I'm definitely about. We need unity everywhere, even here. You know, there's a lot of uh, violence going on in our country and some, I, I got friends in Trinidad, Jamaica, and, and um, it, 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 it seems like it's hard these days for uh, us human beings to express love to one another. So, you know, we hope that f this song would um, remind people that there's no better way to live than, than to live in love and unity. And especially at a sporting event, you know, you, you have, um, yeah, it's about competition, but it's everybody just sh being together, showing what you can do. Um, so again, um, it was a pleasure for me to do, uh, working with great artists like Rick Carey, um, Kristen Massive, anytime you, you put him on a track, it, it's, it goes to another level. Uh, Sonovia Pierre. Um, that's, I mean, it, again, it, it was a pleasure for me to do. The minister made a statement some time back that these would be the best crifter ever, and it has truly shaped me up to be the best crifter ever. 
The Bahamas has always been the leader uh, in many areas of sports within this region. The Carifta flag was designed by uh, former President Gus Cooper for 1976. There was never a Carifta flag, and so we introduced the Carifta flag, which incidentally, Minister, is in your possession, and we would have that to be raised in the ceremony. Oh. <laughs> um, and now, now we've come up with a Carifta song that we would expect um, once the flag is handed over, we will start the tradition where I will have the honor of presenting the flag to the next host. At the same time, I will also give a copy of the tape um, or the CD to the next host so that this Krifta song will now become embedded um, as like the Olympic theme song, that this would become part of the regional Krifta song. And so I'm very, very pleased to give our full endorsement to another innovative and bold initiative by the Bahamas in moving the Krifta games to higher heights. Thank you. Mike, could you answer this? Has this ever been done before? Have you ever had a Carifta song? Yeah. Yeah, but this one, we're going to embed it, and this is going to be handed with the flag. We're going to start the tradition, because we haven't heard that song for a long time. So I'm saying the flag and this song will become synonymous um, as it passes on. Okay. A tradition within the ceremony. Yeah. We're trying to get to as a tradition. The full organizing committee was established. We identified as a theme, Carifta 2013. Oh, let me start again. What is the name? Celebration of Caribbean unity. It's the same line. A celebration, celebration of, of I left that, I left that for you to say, because I know. <laughs> celebration of Caribbean unity. It is. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Take two, that's good. When the Carifta 2013 Organizing Committee was established. Immediately, we identified as a theme, Carifta 2013, a celebration of the Caribbean unity. And we emphasized that in spite of this being a competition event, we want all the Caribbean to feel, you know, um, unified. And we want to take this, in order to take this beyond the closing ceremony on the 1st of April, we have created this momentum. We want every Caribbean country to carry this CD for this Caribbean song back with them. And we want Bahamas to continue to play this song. We, everything about these games is going to be the best. Our opening ceremony is going to be the best. And we hired to produce this show the best, Mr. Fred Ferguson. And when he came up with the idea with a Caribbean song, that just blew my mind. And this song is going to blow the mind of all Caribbean fans. Uh, we are happy to report that this song wouldn't just be available on all the Caribbean radio stations and Bahamian stations, but every member, every fan can buy a copy so they will be made available to the public. We congratulate Fred Ferguson and the artists who produced the song. It is truly off the chain. And just that to ensure that this song is going to be played or be uh, throughout the Caribbean, there are 26 member federations, and to date, 25 has confirmed their attendance. And part of our gift to them would be a copy of this CD. So we will ensure that every member federation of the region will have a copy of this song. Who are you waiting on to confirm? We're just waiting for Belize now, I think it is. But even French Guyana, that seldom attends, yeah. um, will also be in attendance. And we, expect that, again, yeah. we expect that Belize. Yeah. Um, and, and gentlemen, this is the uh, season of. Uh, a very holy season that we're in, and we are we are approaching um, the uh, holy festival of Easter. Carifta is somehow divinely posted on that weekend, and this theme, I don't know if it's, it was intentional or not, of celebrating unity, <coughs> uh, speaks to the only two commandments that Christ actually gave us, which is to love thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, energy, power, everything you have. But also one other thing, he says to love thy neighbor as thyself. And sports, this is another thing that sports can do. The, the passion it brings and the exposure it brings, it brings people close enough together so you'll get to know them and get to know that the people in the Caribbean are actually our neighbors and that they have this special gift that we have, that when we share it, we'll see that these are people who love us. And in this game, 
we have the opportunity to return that affection. Um, so this, this, this theme is more than just coming to run track and field, just going to swim. Um, th this theme brings together um, the great two commandments, the only two things that Christ asked us to do. And this is a celebration of love and unity. So we're very pleased that we have um, a song of praise to go with that. And, and we really dedicate this song today uh, to that idea of love and unity, um, consistent with the commandments of the Master himself. We thank you very much. Okay. Music, my Turn the Go ahead. The opening ceremonies are going to be a cultural explosion showcasing the youth, Carifta being the, the, the sport uh, competition of the youth. We're going to showcase the youth of the Bahamas. We're going to showcase all of the national entities, the National Youth Choir, the National Youth Orchestra, uh, the National Dance Troupe. And we're going to showcase our rhythms our rake and scrape and junkanoo rhythm, showcasing the top artists that we have in the country nowadays. And um, the folks that are visiting the country will get to hear and see who we are all about in a very short space of span to put this on, but it's going to be energetic. We're going to have all of the cadets and the young rangers, as many of the youth organizations as we can get in that space of time to showcase again to the Caribbean the, the, the beauty and the, the, the talents of the Bahamas. So all this in my person could be involved in those things? You know, it grows every day. Um, <laughs> now, now, yeah, now we're up to like, yeah, uh, now we're, the performers, we're talking about 300 plus kids on the field, you know, plus the performers outside of that, plus the, the national, the, the, the marching band. group, the all-star marching all group, marching and of course we'll have John Canoe. So when you put all those numbers together, you're talking about quite a thing to put together, and we have a short space of time to do that. But in true Bahamian form, as you take long to get tickets, we're taking long to get this together, but we're going to present it the best that we can. Okay, thanks. And Minister, last week you talked about, you, 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 in the terms of unity, you talked about getting cycling, swimming, and everything on board. And what I know, because swimmers going away to Jamaica didn't want to be here this weekend. How far are you with that? Um, during the, the week, of the Carifta Games, we'll have the opportunity to host the Caribbean sports ministers. And at that time, um, we want to present as a government, not on a federation level, as to whether we should uh, mirror a regional uh, Olympic style games championships. So we know there are some great things about the Caribbean, apart from our great sprinters, runners, boxers, etc that we have yet to exploit. For instance, sailing. You know, we have, the Bahamas already won a gold medal at the Olympic level in sailing. But, uh, you know, I saw some young people in Harbor Island, Exuma, Long Island, who I tell you, if they get the exposure, they will go to the Olympics and win in sailing. That's just the Bahamas. But think about the rest of the Caribbean. All of these islands have great mariners. And, you know, this is one of the other things that we're having the Carifta Games, as opposed to track and field championships, if you're having the Carifta Games, it is my intention this year to present a, uh, a concept to the Games Committee um, that we, maybe we should think about um, the Carifta Championships mirroring the Olympic Games with cycling, boxing, swimming, rowing, karate, judo, basketball, soccer, golf. There's so many other areas that we can do and the economic impact, the reason I'm behind this, now I'm going into the business of sports, as you know. So the economic impact of hosting 15 championships in a country at the same time can run some economies of tiny countries in one go. So it's an investment. It's an investment. Each, each module will cost you about a million and a half, maybe $2 million. So if you did, say, 10 of them, you put in $20 million investment into a major game, you, your output is almost $100 million. That's the, that's the real value. We're studying this very closely because we're going into business of sports. So we can, you invest 20, but your, your, the economic impact going forward is almost $100 million to 
to host something for one week. Tell me where else you can get that. It's an investment. Yeah. Yeah, so just, yeah, just not direct the camera off this. This is a celebration of all of our nations. Except for the host country, right. Right. and as the as you enter as the country 
there's an announcement they come true. Yeah. We can make that was not the plan. Okay, no cells. Come on, go closer. No, 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 Maybe under hide it, hide it, but not, not sure. This is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs>